What's going on guys, JP back at you once again, bring you guys another video. So today's video is going to be a very special unboxing. So I finally got my halfway to Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome sale order, which I've been waiting on for quite a while. And I'm super excited to finally get it. Plus, I got a ton of Amazon packages that I haven't opened yet. So I just got so much stuff because I haven't been home in about 10 days and this is the Vinegar Syndrome sale order. Quite a hefty box, lots of stuff in there. Um, I haven't been home in like 10 days. So my mail was just insane. Um, it's just falling all over the place. But yeah, this is uh, this is mostly like some stuff that I picked up on like the, the Amazon sale that was going on the other day a lot of scream factories and stuff um, I don't think all of them came in yet, but this is most of the stuff I ordered I think there was like two or three things I was still waiting on but I wasn't gonna wait any longer um, So I figured we'll do all the single uh, Amazon packages first which Amazon you know they usually ship out all your items in separate packages sometimes we'll get like two or three in one package but for the most part it's like just individual packages so we're not going to waste too much time we're just going to hop into it uh, I ordered a lot of Scream Factory stuff um, first up here which actually this one is damaged so I might have to hit up a refund on that um, it is just the case from what I could tell the artwork doesn't seem to be damaged but it is American Gothic I'm not sure if you could see it um, but it is the case is cracked right there so off to a bad start um, definitely and uh, but I love this movie it's a fun little uh, horror film from the late 80s uh, really creepy and and weirdo stuff there's a really good performance in here by um, this person right here what a great performance from that one um, but yeah I haven't seen this film in years and years and years but I might hit him up on that one if it's just the case I might just replace it but we'll see um, after that uh, we have this one and this is not damaged it is blood from the mummy's tomb uh, this is one of the hammer films mummy series films I've actually never seen any of the hammer mummies I've seen all the universal ones I've always wanted to get into more hammer stuff specifically the mummy series always interests me I know there's only like three or four of them um, but I just think that the mummy concept is really underused in horror um, there's like a lot of bad mummy films that come out like from like wild eye and stuff but in terms of like actual uh efforts there's not a lot so you have the universal films and the and the um universal remakes and then like the hammer stuff and that's pretty much it so i've always been really curious on the the hammer mummies i like the other hammer i've seen the, some hammer draculas and some hammer um frankensteins but the mummy has always escaped me uh after that we have another one here uh, which is not damaged as well I'm starting to get nervous that like all my packages are gonna be damaged um, but yeah so far it was just that one which I'm pretty happy about we have the gate 2 um, and yeah I've never seen this film in fact for the like the longest time I didn't even know that this was an uh, existed until maybe about like 15 years ago and I saw it like a VHS and I was like what they, they made a gate 2 because I love the gate growing up but I did not know they made a gate too. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as the first one because you don't really hear many people talk about it. But I love the first gate. And this is one that I had a feeling might go out of print soon. So I finally pulled the trigger on it and grabbed it. Alright, after that. What do we got here? We got two in this one. Um, okay, we have... Village of the Damned, John Carpenter's Village of the Damned. Uh, this is just one of the Carpenter films that I've put off buying forever on Blu-ray because I really don't like the movie. I don't think it's very good at all. I think it's probably his worst film. Honestly, I do think it's his worst film that I've seen. Um, and I just always kind of skipped it. But I really want to get every like legend horror director, you know, the big ones, Carpenter, Craven, Romero, Falci, Argento, like all the main ones. If they have a film on Blu-ray, I want to get it on Blu-ray. Just just to kind of complete those guys' filmographies on HD would be cool. Um, and Village of the Damned is one I did not have. 
Uh, this one is a collector's edition here that actually did come with a uh, slipcover, which is surprising because uh, this one did not. And most of the older titles definitely won't, but um, it is Dracula. Uh, yeah, this is um, from 1979. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't... Is this a Hammer one? Um, I don't... Because it's... I don't think it's a hammer one. It might be. I'm not sure. Uh, my hammer knowledge is not very good, but it doesn't feel like a hammer one. I can't tell, though. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me. This one's from 1979. I know most of the hammer ones were before that. Um, so, And this one's just called Dracula. So I'm not sure which version this is. Uh, of course, no Christopher Lee in there either. It's kind of a big giveaway. But yeah, that is Dracula. Um, then we have another one here. All right. Oh, this one did come in. Uh, the Burbs. This is not a Scream Factory. It is a Shout Factory, but it should have been. It's a Shout Select, which I, this is the only one I own. It's number 44. Um, man, I bet Scream Factory is kicking themselves for not numbering the Scream Factory collection because they probably would have sold a bunch more because people are crazy about numbers. They don't if they start a set and they have the majority of the set, they have to complete the set. So um yeah, so Shout Select, The Burbs. This should be a Scream Factory. I think it's a horror film. I absolutely love this film. I always have. It's one of my favorite um sort of like comedy horrors. I guess it's 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 like very light in the horror. But I've always kind of thought it was had some scary moments and stuff like that. But I've always loved this movie. The Burbs is a classic, and I've been waiting to pick that up forever. I thought I actually owned it, but I didn't. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't. All right, uh, what do we got in this one? Where's the rip thing on this side? This one feels like one of the box sets that I ordered, and it is. It is the Paul Nashy collection. So this is one that I've been meaning to pick up for like absolutely ever and just have never got around to it. Um, so I was pretty happy to actually finally grab it. Um, and that is the Paul Nashy collection. Comes with uh, five films. I, again, this is one I feared would go out of print soon. And it was like so cheap on uh, Amazon Day or whatever that, whatever was going on. I don't know. Like a ton of Scream Factories were like super discounted and... I just started buying a bunch of stuff. I wish I had more money because I would I would have kept buying. There was so many good deals. Um, Horror Rises from the Tomb, Human Beasts, Vengeance of Zombies, Night of the Werewolf, which I've seen before, and Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll. But yeah, Paul Nashy collection. Pretty cool release from Scream Factory. That was definitely something different. Um, okay, let's see here. Got just two more from uh, the Amazon seller. Two more packages, more titles, of course. Uh, first up here, this was not a Scream Factory, but I decided to pick it up. Um, it is a film directed by the one and only Lucio Falci, and it is The Psychic, one of the Falcis I did not own. This is a Scorpion releasing film. I want to say that this was um, a part of the like buy two, get one free sale that was going on. Uh, yeah, just another Falchi that was on the list that I didn't have on Blu-ray, so I decided to pick it up. Never seen it, but I got tons of Italian films to watch for Italian Horror Month. Pretty excited about that. Um, another Frankenstein off the list here. We have Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, uh, which might be the last or second to last of the Frankenstein series, I think. Um, 1974, I've never seen it. Um, but yeah, it is pretty cool looking, pretty cool cover. It's very different from like what you would expect. Uh, yeah, the Hammer series of Frankenstein, that is. Uh, and, yeah, pretty happy about that pickup. Oh, cool, this one actually comes with a slipcover. Pretty happy about that. And that is The Craft. Uh, this has been on my list for a very long time as well because I absolutely love The Craft. And um, I know that, like, some people think it's kind of cheesy and stuff like that, but I I've always loved it. I love these girls. I love watching them interact with each other. I want to be part of that little group. Like, they just seem like they would be so fun to hang out with. You know what I mean? Like, if you're in high school, these cool witchy chicks. I uh, absolutely love Faruza Bach. Of course, Nev Campbell is off. awesome. Um, you got uh, Robin Tooney in there as well. And Rachel True, who I really like. So, really good casting there. Um, also, you got Skeet Ulrich. 
uh, who just seems so different from Billy Loomis, like completely. I guess that's a good thing, but um, it's like I, for the years I didn't even when I was a kid growing up, I did not know that he was Billy Loomis. Um, but yeah, the craft, absolutely love it. Collector's edition, cool, cool uh, slipcover there. Pretty happy about that. Um, this one also came with a slipcover, and that is the Evil of Frankenstein. I feel like these probably didn't sell that well. Um, the the hammer. Uh, this is hammer, right? Because this one doesn't have hammer on the back, but I feel like this is a hammer film for sure. Um, but yeah, I feel like these probably didn't sell too well because of the fact that they still have slipcovers, and I feel like these have been out a very long time. So yeah, they may not they may not have sold well because as we know, like after the first like run supply is gone, um, the slipcovers go away. But I used to care about the slipcovers a lot more until I got a couple that didn't have them, and I was like, yeah, screw it. All right, last up for the Amazon package, is, and then we get into the main event, which, of course, is the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, we have The Hand, which is, I think, one of the... I Actually, no, it's one of the Twisted Terror Collection box sets of uh, films. I don't have it out easily accessible but there used to be a box set that came out from warner brothers like way back in the day that you could get for like eight bucks and it was like a full box set you know where each case was individual it was dvds and it was called the twisted terror collection and it had just a bunch of random movies in it and the hand was one of them it had the hand someone's watching me um deadly friend uh which was the west craven film um like eyes of a stranger and from Beyond the Grave, also it had Dr. Giggles. It was just a very random assortment of films, but The Hand was one of those films in there, and I love The Hand, and I specifically bought that box set for The Hand, and I think most, if not all, of those films are now available on Blu-ray, uh, and The Hand is a really fun movie that I think is really good. It's actually directed by Oliver Stone, kind of a psychological horror film. I remember this showed on... Monster Vision when I was a kid. That was the first time I seen it. I've always liked it ever since. So that is the hand. Um, and then finally here uh, for the Amazon pickups, we have the Paul Nashy Collection 2. And this one has Hunchback of the Morgue. Um, it has Exorcism, Dragonfly for Each Corpse, The Werewolf and the Yeti, and The Devil Possessed, which is a bunch of films from the 70s that I've never seen. Not any of these. I don't think I've seen. But yeah, that is the Paul Nashy Collection Volume 2. So, uh, yeah, I was very happy to get those. I still need to grab four of the Universal Collections from Scream Factory, but we'll get those down the road. Uh, yeah, th I mean, there was so... I mean, there was way more titles that I wanted, but I had to cap myself off at those. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the main event. We have a Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. By far the most money I ever spent on a Vinegar Syndrome sale ever. Um, it was quite a bit. But I kind of saved for it a little bit because I wanted to really partake. I really would love to get the um, yearly package, but it's like $2,000 or something. And I just feel, I would just feel like kind of a little bit of a degenerate if I spent that kind of money up front on movies. Even though I spend way more than that over the course of a year for sure. Um, wow, this is just a, a nice packaged box. There's so much stuff in here. You guys want a little, little tiny sneak peek? Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Let's go with this little stack. They're, they're each in little stacks here. Nice bubble wrap. Perfect. Vinegar Syndrome. Good job, guys. Alright, so the first stack here is... I can open it. Alright, so we have Psycho Cop Returns. Never seen it, but I never even seen Psycho Cop, which they didn't release, or else I would have got that too. But uh, Psycho Cop Returns. I've never seen it. <laughs> the, I mean, I'm just like getting happy because like Vinegar Syndrome is like insane, dude. Like, I love their releases because they're ridiculous. Like, some of the stuff they release. It's just so fun to explore. And there's always like packed with features that I wish I had time for because they're ridiculous. Like they put, they do, they're like the criterion for trash, right? 
they take these trashy movies most of the time. I mean, they've released some good ones too, but for the most part, like trashy stuff. And then they, and then they just they they give them these fantastic editions with these great features and stuff. And their transfers are like second to none. 1992 on that film. All right, uh, then we have The Undertaker featuring Joe Spinell, which I've never seen from 1988. Um, again, you know, with the the whole trashy film um but i love joe spinell and I, I i'm curious to see him in another horror film and it just kind of looks cool man I, I just i dig it and of course like most of these are long past their like slip cover um era where they had like a cool slip cover or something uh, a lot of these ones are old like this one was new but i still missed out on the slip cover which i was kind of annoyed about because i it they had it and then i waited a day to order and it was gone um, but that is Silent Madness 3D. Now, this film is in 3D. I don't know if it's done in the, like, new 3D or if I'm able to watch it. Because it does look like there's 3D glasses in there. So maybe I could actually watch it and it's not, like, a 3D Blu-ray but sort of that old style, old style 3D. Um, because I actually do like watching 3D stuff. And I, if I could, I would get a 3D TV, but they're, like, gone. That, like they don't make them anymore so they're super expensive um i thought about like checking out pawn shops and seeing if i could find one because that's something i kick myself for that i never got even if it was like a smaller one just to put in like a side room for the occasional 3d watch that'd be awesome but yeah this looks like a boatload of ridiculousness fun all right and then we have pigs this one has been on my list forever to pick up from uh vinegar syndrome 1973 um I assume Killer Pig film, but I don't. I won't be able to tell you. Uh, this is one of their older releases. There, um, number something on the spine, 109. They don't like number their releases. It's just like a catalog thing. But like this is 340, so that just tells you how long ago it was. And that's like I think including like all their porn and stuff. Um, pigs, pretty cool. Uh, after that, and you know none of these are broke. Like none of these are are, are cracked. Knock on wood. Um, because Vinegar Syndrome packages stuff right. Uh, then we have The Hearse, which is another one. I, it was like The Hearse, um, Psycho Cop Returns, and The Undertaker, I think it all came out around the same time. And I was like, man, I really wanted all those and just never grabbed them. But they were they were at a pretty good price, so I finally jumped in on them. Um, these two actually come with slipcovers, which I am surprised at. Um, but it is Hollywood House of Horror, uh, which is a 1970 movie, so I do need to check it out because I am going through the 70s films right now. Not as many special features on that one, but still, you know, that movie looks crazy. <laughs> they always put out the craziest stuff. Like, I could just, like... I could just honestly just sit here and read the backs of these covers and stuff like that and see what the hell these movies are. Because, like, most of the stuff that comes out, like, I've never heard of or I've barely heard of. Most of the stuff. Some of the stuff I've heard of and, you know, are familiar with. But, like, I, um, Ice Cream Man and uh, Jack Frost and stuff. But most of their movies, like, I've never even heard of. Um, this is one that I think I have heard of. But I like this slipcover a lot. This is a nice slipcover. It is Fade to Black, which is... I don't know. It looks kind of cool, though. I don't know if it's like a slasher film or what, but yeah, it looks looks pretty neat there. Nice nice release from uh, Vin Sin there. My Vin Sin collection is definitely beefed up with this update. Alright, the next one here, um, we have The Bees, which I have seen this film before, way back in the day on cable TV. And, uh, yeah, it's a 1978 film, Killer Bee film. I love me some Killer Insect, especially, like, the 70s. They were just filled with chock full of Killer Insect, snakes, crocodiles, all, all the good stuff. And I've always been a fan of when nature attacks, so the bees it is. And then we have, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is different. This is a different type of box set. Huh. I'll be damned. I did not know that it came in this kind of box weird i'm not sure i like it honestly um we have the cordana collection uh and this is a trio of like volume one by the way this is like a trio of like i don't know how do you oh oh never mind i actually kind of do like it 
it <laughs> this is actually kind of getting ridiculous dude so this is a like a slip cover like a slip box right so this is a slip box you pull this out and i thought this i thought this was a um like a uh digi book so i was i was like pulling on here on this little corner here but it's not that's just where the slip cover meets around because their slip covers are like wraps they're not like the o-ring style um but it's a, it's just a slip cover and then it's it's <laughs> it's got the three films in a standard sort of case which is fine i'm all for saving space you know um these are mexican exploitation films treasure of the amazon the Bermuda Triangle and Cyclone. So that's coming from Vin Sin. I like their style. I like what they're doing. Uh, I wonder when the Corridana, Corridana set volume two is going to come out. Um, at first I thought it was a loose disc, but I think it's, it might be a loose disc. I don't know. I might have to open that up. All right. Then we have alien from la which i gotta say man i really like that slip cover i don't know if you guys can see it but it has a very metallic look to it i dig that and even the back like this is a very nice slip cover um alien from la i don't know what this is this was i believe part of the may package so it just came with the other stuff so that's that i can't wait to dig into some of these though man all right and then we have surf 2 which this is a very nice slip cover as well um, it does make you kind of want to buy the packages. These slipcovers, by the way, are worth like a lot of money. Um, when they go out of print, people sell them. It's like insane. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty, pretty cool little... I've never seen Surf 1, but it looks like there might be some zombies in it or something. I think it's a comedy for the most part. All right, and then we have this amazing release here. The VSU Volume 2, uh, number 2. We have the Six String Samurai, which I was hoping for more of a horror title or something. But these releases are insane, man. It has this magnet here that slaps down. And then it has like this pull tab to get the movie out of. And there's a book. And then it has a slip cover. And this is a 4K release. I'm not taking it all out right now because that's just a pain. But yeah, the first one was Beastmaster. This is the second one which is Six String Samurai. Um, probably, in my opinion, the nicest like single film releases they have out there. They are expensive, but um, they're just putting out like incredible work done with these. These are like super premium editions, um, and I like that. They're, they're really neat. Um, they, they make me like scared to even handle them because I don't want to mess them up. All right, almost done here. We just got a couple more things, a couple more things, a couple box sets. Um, so first up here, let's go ahead with this one. We have television, televised terror volume one. And yeah, this, these are, I love what they do with their box sets, man. They're, they're, they're just a great, great, great packaging, great presentation. Just awesome. The top comes off. Look at that. Like that's so cool that they put that little please stand by me thing. The design of these are really neat. And then we have... Are you in the house alone? I don't know what this says. Calendar Girl Murders and Child in the Night. And these are TV movies from the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. That would be cool if they could do that every time. One from the 70s, one from the 80s, and one from the 90s. I would dig that. I've actually not seen any of these. But I love this box set. This is volume one. Would love some more TV TV movies. I love, love, love TV movies. So that would be really awesome to get more of those. All right. And then we have this craziness here. This is the Scanner Cop 1 and 2 4K set. And again, it's sort of like the Cornada, Cordana set where you pull these out. And then they're just regular releases with slipcovers. It's like, it's like the next one they're going to do, they're going to have these that go in, the, you know, the slipcover that goes over top of the case, and then the box for the slipcovers, and then a box for the box for the slipcovers. That's what they're going to. Um, but yeah, these are, these are the last two scanner films that I've never seen, I believe. 
Um, I think there's the three original and then these two, right? But yeah, never seen them. I do like Scanners uh, 2 a good bit, but the other one's not so much. I mean, the first one's good. Uh, but it's definitely not my favorite David Cronenberg film. But yeah, 4K. I didn't even know this was coming out. or the, I, I actually didn't even know this was part of the May package that I bought. And I was like, damn, I gotta spend more money on this. Because I wanted the 4Ks that they were doing. But then I, somebody was like, no, that's part of the package, dude. Alright, and the final one here of this insane mail day is the... Homegrown Horrors Volume 1 from Vinegar Syndrome, uh, this box set here, which has three films that I've not really heard much about, and that is Beyond Dreams Doors, Beyond Dreams Door, Winter Beast, and Fatal Exam. And I gotta say guys, these covers are really well designed, really cool, I like them a lot. And yeah, you know, you just look at these these special features and stuff like that, and you're like, you know, 1992 for this one, 88 and 88. So like some late 80s, uh, early 90s, pretty much trash movies. <laughs> at least I assume. But they're going to be fun. That's what's so fun about Vinegar Syndrome. You see these movies that are like genuinely not that great, but the thing is is when they're in this like super nice presentation right it makes you like appreciate them so much more and it, it i don't know if you've never picked up like vinegar syndrome titles because you're like worried that they're gonna suck i i suggest doing it because it, there's just something fun about experiencing these movies like every um october when i do the 31 days of horror i always do like a lot of my vinegar syndrome titles that are sitting on the shelf because they're just a fun experience, and I don't know, man. And and I, I know I've been harping on the fact that they put out trash, but like, yeah, they have they have a lot of good movies too. Like a lot of great movies have are on their line, but you know, a lot of them are kind of crappy too. But they're fun. Like Demon Wind, I had a blast with that movie. It was such a fun one. Blue Vengeance was another one I'm thinking of. Um, Witch Trap, Hobgoblins was horrible, but it was like really fun time but yeah i definitely recommend supporting vinegar syndrome it's probably my favorite company out there right now um i pick up a lot of stuff from them and that was the first time i really 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 went in on the sale so i was very very pleased with the titles that i got so with that said guys i'll see you guys next time with another one peace out